Congress to the traditional territory of the Treaty of Nations to conduct the business of the District of Chetland, we do so knowing that we are privileged to serve the citizens of this community, and we shall endeavor to conduct our business in their best interest. Thank you. Stood out. 
There was much discussion on pros and cons of the resolution process, and there are some statistics that showed between 2015 and 2019, uh, there were over 200 resolutions put forward to UBCM from NCLGA. And in other provinces, there were less than 50, and I mean all other provinces, there were less than 50. So they really want to streamline that process. And um, so one suggestion to lower that number is to amalgamate, amalgamate resolutions or merge resolutions when they are when there are multiple resolutions for, of the same topic. So they're they're attempting that, and and there were repeats. Um, this year at this AGM, uh, Public Library Funding, Electoral Boundaries Commission Review, and Pricing Policy for Community Forests were just a few that they merged on the spot. Uh, and as Carol shared with us, all three, of the, all three of our resolutions were carried, so that was great. Um, some panel sessions were healthcare and forestry. Um, uh, of course, the keynote speaker was the Honorable Jody Wilson Raybould. Um, topics such as Indigenous rights and reconciliation, democracy and governance, leadership and justice. She spoke about her upbringing, her time in Parliament, and Indigenous relationships, and of course, was very well received. Uh, there was a Truth and Reconciliation session. Um, with Chief Judy Desjardins from the Blueberry First Nations and Shona Nelson, the, the town manager from Doy River First Nations. And um, the moderator, Mayor Ackerman, asked some really good questions and, and they had a great conversation. Um, just some of the things I wanted to share when asked, you know, how they see reconciliation or how that, what that would look like to them. Um, just some of the comments that were made were, um, Communication is key. Inclusion, involvement, building relationships. Recognition, truth, transparency, reconciling, accountability. Um, and it was just, they were just really awesome off the cuff question and answers. Um, and it was just really, it was really um, enjoyable and, and you know, honest dialogue. And, and it, was a, it was a great session. And that's about it. Thank you. Thanks, John. Is there any other answers? Um, I guess we need a motion to accept Janet's. So the email was our the letter of support was already already provided, so then we still go ahead and make the motion. It was provided? It was. Uh, from Mayor Kutra and a second. So I will make the recommendation or motion the council provide a letter of support to the Chapman Public Library for its grant application to United Way Northern BC Community Investment and Impact Program for Libraries, Good Food, Community Kitchen, and Virtual Kitchen.
Transportation and Council support Richter orders in the proposal to offer helicopter rides in the Northeast and check the Chapman Secretary of the Software Field of June 19th to 12th, 2022, in conjunction with the 2022 Chapman Chainsaw Carbon Competition. I'll second that. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Opposed? Carried. <coughs> DI3. Email from the Federation of Canadian Municipalities. I'll make that recommendation that Council authorize the Mayor of Oral Trent to attend the Federation of Canadian Municipalities 2022 Annual Conference in traditional Regina, Saskatchewan, June 2nd to 5th, 2022. Second. Any favor? Opposed? Carried. Email from Enbridge, dated April 29th, letter of support. I'll make that recommendation to Council to provide a letter of support to Andrews for the West Coast Connector Gas Transmission Project Environmental Assessment Certificate Extension Request. I'll second that. Any discussion? Go ahead. Um, <clears throat> I'm a little uncomfortable with this one. I know that there's some uh, pretty heavy negotiations going on between uh, the First Nations and the uh, NPC government right now. Whatever's happening, um, I'm just a little bit uncomfortable throwing our hat in the ring on trying to to push permits through for individual companies. Um, of course, the Shelvin's industry um, is sympathetic for sure, but this one just makes me a little bit uncomfortable. With regard to the political climate, just that the reason that they, they're asking for the, the extension is because some things that they had not foreseen, such as COVID, had delayed their project, so they were hoping to amend their certificate. But uh, I totally understand that the political climate is a little tricky for the government support. I don't think that their project would depend on Chapman support, support anyway, so um, it's totally up to council which direction you wish to go with this. Correspondence. Um, is there anything that anyone wants pulled out of the correspondence? 
C1, please. Can I have a motion to receive C2? And I'm just wondering why it wouldn't have been on the agenda for an April meeting because the deadline to take action was April 25th. Carol, could you answer that? Um, I can't remember when we got this letter delivered to us, but if it was too late for the for the last agenda, it would be pushed ahead to this, this agenda. However, um, we have been talking with various groups about connectivity, so we did act on the letter, even though it wasn't on the agenda. Uh, it, company work is right, it could possibly have been a late item on an earlier agenda if we had received it in time. I don't know that it's um, the, uh, the vision, our vision that we're wanting to share on letterhead. Um, I hear what you're saying, and our vision is very important, but I think for this purpose, um, this is appropriate. For what purpose? Only? Because we, because reconciliation, because we need to do our part in reconciliation and um, stating our mission statement at the beginning of each meeting, including the fact that we are on the traditional territories of the Treaty 8 is one way, and putting it in print is uh, even a better way. Okay, I agree with that, but then why don't we just keep it simple and say that on the traditional territory of Treaty Why do we need to say keeper of the land allowing us to work play in the
Yes, it, it will be posted on our website. It's, uh, we don't run it in the paper or anything, but it is a public document. Awesome, thank you.
it stands, we unofficially maintain it anyway. So that's thank you. And just for clarification on the location, so this is down through the Legion sub. Is it that direction? Uh, yes. So if you continue past the Legion sub, um, and then it turns into 45A, I think, and then it turns into Gerwin Road. Okay, so those residents on 45A, uh, or sorry, I guess I'm talking about at the the end of the 45A. I guess 45A meets Gerwin. Is that how? Yeah. Okay. So that residence is out of municipal boundaries, but going past it, there would be a residence that is within the boundary? Uh, yes, so we would be looking to include all of Gerwin, and then there's only one property, if you keep driving that way on the right hand side, that isn't in the boundary, and, and the properties on the left hand side would stay outside of the boundary. Okay, okay thank you. Used to be a road 
years ago and then it was decommissioned. Can you remember why it was decommissioned the last time? Uh, we'll look into that and bring that back to council along with any, uh, what a potential fix would be. Thank you. 